Hi everybody, this is Pete, and in today's Camera Lucid and 9.0 tutorial, we're going to be covering using the Osmo device with your Camera Lucida app. Osmo is a company that makes a series of educational applications that all make use of a mirror and a tilted stand. Camera Lucida takes advantage of this hardware and allows you to draw in front of you. In order to be able to use the camera lucid or any mirrored setup whatsoever, we have a new camera control button in the upper left hand corner. When you push that button, you are brought into the camera control feature. If you're using the Osmo device, just hitting this front button will actually set it up for use with the Osmo. But if you're using something else, you may want to have more control over the image transformation that is required, the camera view transformation, in order to be able to draw the image correctly. And I want to cover some of the things that you can do using the application at this time. First of all, you'll notice this button is blinking. That's blinking telling you that in order to get out of the camera control mode, you need to hit that button. Next, you have one button here that enables using the front or rear camera, another for flipping the camera view upside down, and another for mirroring the camera left or right. And then after you've adjusted your camera settings the way that you like them, you may want to hit the Save button and the Restore. Let me give you an example of how you might use this application. Let's say that we are using the front camera, okay? And let's reset it so that it goes back to normal. Now this is looking at a live view in front of my device. And again, you can see the ghost image that I've left behind. That's controlled by this toggle right here. You can either turn off that ghost image or not. That's really helpful when you want to create a, a perfect alignment. And I'll cover that in just a second. Now, when you want to control the various views and transformations to the camera, you can do that by using a pinching motion to either zoom in or zoom out, or a a vertical pinching motion will stretch it vertically, a horizontal pinching motion will stretch it horizontally, and then down at the bottom you have controls for adjusting the actual perspective and rotation that you're seeing. So the top bar controls the rotation that's applied to the camera and the bottom controls the amount of perspective stretch that's applied. When you're happy with that, you'll want to save it because it's sometimes difficult to get it just right. And it says you really want to save it and you say yes. And at any time, if you wanted to, you could hit the restore button and it'll put it back to the setting that you had. Looking at this, you may wonder, why do I want to stretch the image? Well, if your camera was pointing down at the table at an angle like this, you want to actually be able to stretch the image so that it looks like you're looking straight down at the drawing surface. In order to get that correct, it would be nice to have a reference image that you can use. Well, that's the next thing I'll cover. Let me hit the reset button. If you look closely here, there's a question mark. That question mark, when you hit it, brings up a help menu that covers all of the different things that I've gone over already. And one of the things that you can do is hit this button right here, and that's going to bring up a camera adjustment helper. And what it's going to do is it's actually going to create an image that is saved to your camera roll that you can then open up right there. Just save this image right here. And that image you can actually print out using the application, and then you can put it down on your, on your table and you can adjust the camera until the view of this image exactly matches the printed image. That helps you to get an absolutely perfect orientation. So those are the camera control features. But again, if you're using something like an Osmo, you just bring in the app up the camera control and hit the front button, and that's all you really need to do.